Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday morning. I hope you're enjoying your cartoons and a big bowl of cereal. It's your boy, Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. In this video, we're going to discuss Grant Trout and his recent engagement to Maddie Pruitt. They went on Amazon Live yesterday, which apparently Amazon's doing live streams now. Don't you have enough Amazon? Do you hear this? Amazon's buying Roomba so they can map out people's homes. No, not on my watch. I refuse to have a robot vacuum for me. I'm a Swiffer guy myself. Follow me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Neal if we get enough Patreon members. Maybe we'll have a billion dollars like Grant does. Uh, is he doing a prenup there? What's going on? I want to make something clear. I will not be making fun of Christianity in this video. I don't think. I reserve the right to. God gave me that right, but I don't think I will. What I will do is make fun a little bit of him being the son of a billionaire and also his sort of cringeworthy use of the African-American vernacular, A-A-V-E as it's called. You might re refer to it as abonics. Well, it's <laughs> wild. We're going to get into all this right now. Okay, so first things first, we've got uh, the Amazon Live. Um, I'm going to share with you guys. Now, if you don't know much about Grant, look, I always like to do this thing where I follow the money. So his dad's a billionaire, self-made. So give him credit. We've talked about this before. And you can, it's not his fault that his dad's got a lot of money. But when we looked into it, his dad, billionaire Kenny Trout, funded America's most indulgent, most successful youth basketball team. So in... Grant Trout talks about being a college basketball alumni. You go, what? This guy made a college basketball team? And you start looking at his skills, and you're like, all right, here he is in high school listed as six foot three. What up? What up, dude? How are you? Got that cool music. He's shooting. He's passing. He's chewing gum. We'll get to that in a minute. Doing the whole thing. Fine. But then several years later, he actually shrunk in height to six foot one. Uh, so I don't know if he's 5'2". I don't know what the truth is. He went to Episcopal School, his high school there. Not sure how competitive, competitive it was. But look, hey, he played D1 his freshman year of college. He played D1 college hoops. That's a big deal. It's hard to make the team. Now, if your dad, Kenny Trout, and Lisa Trout happen to donate between $100,000 to $1 million, that might help. We don't know. I'm just following the money, guys. We don't know. All I'm saying is very convenient to uh, pull a hamstring your first practice, and then you're like, all right, you're off the team. I'm not saying that's what happened, but um, there definitely should be some more looking into this. Okay, here we go. Here's their live stream. Be happy for them. All right, where are they? It's actually a nice suit, nice jacket. Like I said, I don't like, I don't like the belt. Exclusive engagement details with Madison and Grant. And we're live. What up? <laughs> what up? How oh you doing? Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Welcome to our Amazon Live. Live. We are in the middle of Atlanta, Georgia, in a random conference room that we rented out for you guys. And we're excited. <laughs> and we're we're excited. excited. We feel ready. We're so excited. We have not shared our engagement story. With or really now, I, I, you guys know me. I'm real. I'm a real stickler on audio but if you don't enjoy the sound of somebody chewing gum this video ain't for you even our story in general mm -hmm. with it's the first time so you guys should feel honored yeah also <laughs> not to mention it's like look oh there it is five days engaged so the link the this the stream first of all is terrible quality i don't blame them but it's like jeff bezos listen can we can we make your yacht maybe a few billion feet smaller and upgrade your servers a little bit you own the biggest company in the world here and we can't even get like like a plus quality streaming it's look a big this, kind of big time big time this is grown man stuff right here right here Okay, grown man stuff happening. So we're going to go to the four. I'm going to play two clips for you guys here. You can watch the whole thing on Patreon. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can go to my Patreon and pay me, but you can watch this for free on Amazon right now. So let's go here. And here's the story on how they met. Met When I first laid eyes on the most beautiful girl in the whole world, Aww. Madison Rose Pruitt. So she goes on a podcast, my best friend's podcast, and I'm in Branson, Missouri, and this is in Dallas. And so my best friend sees her and he was like, oh my gosh, like... Are you single? She was like, yeah, but you know, I, I just, I don't really have time. And he was like, no, you don't understand. Like I have a friend for you. She's like, I get that all the time. Like, come on now. And I know none of this. And so for 30 minutes, my best friend just puts me down with Maddie <laughs> and he's not telling her my he's name. He's going off. He's like going he, off. He is making it seem like, I'm like this guy, <laughs> I have to know yeah, this guy. I have no idea. I'm single doing ministry work, just serving the Lord. 
All right, there you go. Hey, serving the Lord. I thought he was going to say, here I am just slinging the, you know, no, I'm serving the Lord. All right, hey, that's pretty fine. Good for you. Listen, okay, I'm already I'm already going to just respond to people that are going to be like, oh my gosh, how can you make fun of them? Listen, that's what we do. We're, we're you know, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're going to make fun of a young, happy couple. Congratulations to them. I hope it works out. I hope they have a bunch of kids and a happy family. I truly, truly mean that. I do. Okay, back to me making fun of them. And so... You were kind of like blowing it off though. And so nothing happened. And then they meet again at a Halloween party. And that's when my friend for an hour and a half corners this girl and goes, you have to go on a date with my boy. And uh, he's I'm like, like, I have to. He's like, listen, like you're not going to regret it. And she's like, okay, you know what? I may. And so I come home just to visit Dallas for like a random weekend. And he grabs me and he was like, Grant, I got a date with you. And I was like, come on, man. Like, I'm locked in. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, so, and my only piece of advice, Grant, if you are watching, is to comb your hair backwards. Now, listen, it took me years to figure out this technique, but you're you're, you're kind of, you expose, ex, ex, you know, I'm sure you have a nice hairline there. Ex, you could buy one. Expose some of that nice hairline right there and just pull your hair backwards. The good Lord wants you to pull your hair backwards. All right, just, just a thought. I'm not trying to date well, right now. Mark like, and oil. Blind date. He goes, Grant, you got to do it. And uh, he was like, her name's Maddie Pruitt. And I was like, heard that name heard that name. Mm -hmm. So what she didn't know is six months before that ever happened, someone sent me a picture of this girl named Maddie Pruitt. And I was like, wow, like, who is this? I was like, this is literally my dream girl. And then nothing happened for six months. And they, they told me that night, they're like, Grant, we can get her in front of you tonight. Like, we know where she's at. Like, she can come hang with us. And I was like, it's not the time. Something in my spirit said it's not the time. Because we needed six months to figure out we ourselves. Needed, we needed six we months. We needed some singleness to, yeah. to break through. Anyways, I come home. JD's like, Grant, you got to give it a shot. And I was like, man, I don't know. I think every dude's trying to date Maddie. And he was like, who would you be if you didn't try? And I don't know who I'm speaking to right now, who's <laughs> listening right now, but who would you be if you didn't try? So true, though. But and you all you got to do, and, and, did. and he did it. Woo! All you got to do is get your best friend to corner someone for 90 minutes and have your dad donate a lot of money to a college. Okay, holding. All right, so we're going to get into it. Um, nine, nine, the 955 mark here. So that's how they started dating. Very cute. Good for them. Um, and let's go over here to 955 and catch the next clip. What I found out yesterday from her mom is that when I went to the bathroom midway mm -hmm. through that conversation, she literally texted her mom and was like, I'm in trouble. And then later that night said, Mom, I think he's the one. All right, that proves my point. Proves my point. If a lady says a guy's trouble, it's because she wants to hook up with him fast. Oh, you're trouble. I'm on a purity, no sex for 30 days thing. And then you meet a guy and he's like, hey, how are you? And you're like, ooh, boy, I'm in trouble. You've made my loins feel things we've never felt before. But do y'all want to know? Y'all want to know what sealed the deal for her. No. Tell them. I get in the car. So we have the most incredible, just amazing conversation. So life-giving, so challenging, so inspiring, like you said. I had never met someone that had my same level of passion and woo. Like this man was just, he was just going. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm blown away. But then there's this part of me that was like, okay, but does he have like this, this swag? Like does Girl, he have- Girl, she don't know. Does he have- <laughs> Hold on. If that's not on the sound, if that's not on the soundboard, that is first ballot soundboard. Girl, she don't know. She don't know. Does he have like this, this swag? Girl, have... she don't know. Wow. No, I don't know. Like, is there another side of him where we can just like turn on some Justin Bieber, some Drake, like, and just chill and vibe. And so we get in the car and he opens my door and he's like, do you mind if we just like drive around downtown and I just turn on some Drake? And I was like, huh. Bow wow. She's like, do wow, wow. you? Lost it. I was like, do you want to get married right now? I mean, I was just like, okay, this is the perfect combination of we just had amazing, inspiring conversation. And now we're getting just this fun, vibey element to the date. And we paused, we, so we parked the car and prayed for Drake. We really did. We prayed for Drake. I was like, we can't listen to him without praying <laughs> for him, man. We literally stopped the car first date, barely know and each other. One thing you should know um could you guys pray for my sub subscriber you know what i would actually enjoy and I, I truly mean this if madison and grant could just pray for my patreon just that just that it the i would if the good lord 
puts its money where its mouth is. Go to patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Because let me tell you something. The good Lord made me in his image, and he enjoys humor. I've got this on good accord that the good Lord enjoys a little laughter. It's good for your uh, serotonin levels. Um, it, it, uh, it releases endorphins. And you know me, big endorphin dumper Dave. I'm the worst driver in all the land. In the world. And so when I lock in with somebody, like, I'm not even looking at the road. We're and we're hitting curves. In, first day in, and he's literally driving, looking at me, and like... They Hit, they did a hit and run. We're like going straight into a car, into a tree. I'm we like, we end up in the middle of nowhere. They hit a tree. Uh, I know, I'm sure this is hyperbole. They're like, we ran over a flock of seagulls. This was amazing. We were just driving, and I was like, I love you. And then I hit a crepe cart. In the middle of nowhere. I was like, sketchy. where are we? I'm like, where are you taking But we were in love. <laughs> and we call our friend JD that hooked us up. And I go, Jay, I want to make a music video tomorrow with her. He He's was like, like what? Is what? Happening? So, He's so shook. And That's I, what I'll, I'll say. I mean, hey, when, <laughs> when you got the money, you can make the most successful, indulgent music video in the world. You can do that when you have money. When, that should make a, I should make a music video called When You Have Money. When you have money, you don't have to look out your eyes on the road when you drive. You can just hit people. Daddy, please, uh, we need to buy a crepe cart. <laughs> I hit a crepe cart in a town fair. All right, we're having fun. I'm going to nominate this video in the moment for best of 2022. This is a best of 22 video. All right, so you know what? It's actually, it's so good. I mean, I feel like I should keep going. You guys, let me know if there's any part of this I'm missing. Bitchlorette, um, our good friends over there, Bitchlorette on Instagram, um, released a few different clips. I know I played one or two of them already. Let's see if they have anything we don't oh my have. Oh gosh, I'm blown away. But then there's this part of me that was like, okay, but does he have like this this swag, like does Girl, he have? Girl, she don't know. Does he have she this know. like it is swag? Eight months, Girl. So, yeah, eight, 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 eight months, months before you proposed. Yeah. Um, and some people think what took you so long? Eight months? You could have been. You could have proposed at four months. Really? That's short. But you know, honestly, when you know, you know. Yeah. And we are also something that we have made a commitment to do is to pursue purity and to wait until marriage and so because of that we're like well we're not trying to like <laughs> have a super long dating let's engagement wrap this up. Let's, let's wrap this up, <laughs> let's, wrap this up <laughs> let's wrap this up oh boy oh boy yeah let's just wrap this up oh boy wrap it i don't even know what else to say to that wow wowie mcgawi all right wrap it up and metaphorically, maybe spiritually, maybe physically. I don't know. You do you, boo. You do you. Consensually, you can wrap it. You can unwrap it. You can uh, put a bow on it. I don't give two rats ass what you guys decide to do when you're pumping Palmers, bumping Harrisons, doing whatever the good Lord intended. Uh, but please just keep your eyes on the road from now on is all I ask. <laughs> What, eight months? All right, next one. I know. Uh, and I just, and for so long, I've just been Maddie Prue. Everyone, you know, yeah. calls me Maddie Prue. And so I think I'll still have that as a part of my name. But yeah. Maddie Trizzy Trout now. <laughs> that name on it. I know. Uh, Too far. Too far. So the comments on this one are just epic. Um, date card pot said, I'm nauseous. Ash talks batch. Why am I fascinated by this? You know why you're fascinated by this? It's just a slice of life. Most people aren't exposed to They're They're, they're, they're good. And en- they're good energy. We're going to, st- we're going to keep it positive. This is good energy. They're excited and happy for each other. Now, if people want to get into stuff saying, Oh, he's ripping off, uh, cult, he's culturally appropriating, uh, the AAV. And that's a whole different argument to have. They did get into, um, some tr- trouble, I would say, through social media, he, uh, he, when, when they shared their love for each other, you know, like when they were four days into their relationship, they posted a photo of them on a, on a mission trip where they were holding a black, a black babies. And then they took that down because a lot of people don't realize when you're on mission trips, um, when you're, uh, when, when you're preaching the good Lord, it's, I guess it's a good thing to share love and positive energy and all that. But when you go into someone's community and like hold up the baby and take a photo with it, that's, that's something that, that kind of falls into this like white Christian savior complex. And, and, and that, that, and it's like, okay, so that's a whole different argument to have. Uh, in most cases, I believe they mean well, and it's not about not meaning well. It's just about calling things out when you see them. Uh, not so much to, um, to like cancel people or anything like that, but just to go, yeah, probably, probably don't, don't like use those photos to prove your sort of um, morality because, you know, that's just, you never want to be in that place. Okay, so again, so love to share their story. Now let's just watch what Date Card Pod has to say because we always get a funny response from them. 
And in case it wasn't clear, their use, their continued and consistent use of AAVE is horrible, inappropriate, and there has to be a, a word that's like beyond cringe. <laughs> Mega cringe. Okay. So anyway, thank you so much for sharing that. Of course. Yeah. I mean, look, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? All right. So that's where they are. Uh, congratulations on their engagement. I wish them well. And we're going to continue to follow this because it's fascinating. It's fascinating content. And that's how it went down. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to be going to a Basset Hound Festival today. If you enjoy dog videos, go to my Instagram right now. I'm taking my dog to the Basset Hound Festival. It's going to be amazing. I'll talk to you guys later. Have an excellent weekend. Bye, everybody. Does he have like this this swag? Girl, she don't know.